Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our technical English lesson for grade 11. This is our first of two lessons on method. We call it method 1. It's on pages 8 and 9 of your course book. Method means a way of doing something. Great. The objective of this lesson is to be able to express how devices are activated or started using by followed by verb with ing. And by extension, we should be able to explain how something is done if the method is an action. Now, before we start, let's look at some words we will be using in this lesson. We have alarm, burglar, activate, laser beam, emergency stop, motor, accelerator, cord, voice operated, and finally, ticket machine. Now, let's take a look at them one by one. What is this? It's a fire alarm. It's a device that makes a loud noise to warn people of fire in a building. And an alarm is a device that makes a loud noise to warn of danger. Now, do you know any other alarm we can find in a building? We can find an alarm like this. What kind of alarm is this? It's a burglar alarm. And a burglar alarm is an alarm that warns of a burglar. And who is a burglar? A burglar is a person who goes into houses, shops, or similar places to steal things. Great. Now, the burglar activates the alarm by breaking the laser beam. What do you mean by activate here? Activate is to make something start working. And this is a laser beam. Now, what is this? It's called an emergency switch, also known as kill switch. It's a button or a switch or other mechanism that is used to shut down a machine in case of emergencies. What is this? It's a motor. It is a part of machine that makes it work or move by changing power especially electrical power into movement. What are these? This is a car accelerator and this is a motorbike accelerator. An accelerator is a part of motor vehicle engine used to increase the speed of the vehicle. Our next word is cord. A cord is a piece of thick string like these ones. And then we have voice operated. Any device that is voice operated is turned on or operated by the sound of a voice. And our last word is this. What are these machines? They are ticket machines. A ticket machine it's a vending machine that issues tickets for a journey on a public transport, 
for using a car park or similar things. And a vending machine is a machine from which you can buy drinks, chocolates, or similar things by putting money into it. So this machine, ticket machine, gives you a ticket when you put money into it. Now open your course books to page eight. What are these devices? First one here is a touch screen ticket machine. This one is a cordless phone. And this one is an outboard motor on a boat. And this is a kickstart on a motorbike. And the last one here is a laser beam burglar alarm. Now, the question is, how do you start or activate these devices? I want you to think of how these devices are activated or started. Then write full sentences to explain how the devices are started or activated. Good. Now let's find out how they are activated. We're going to exercise two, still on page eight. Complete the sentences. Use the verbs in the box. Break, kick, pick up, press, pull, switch on, and touch. The sentences here explain how the devices are started or activated. Number one is done. The passenger activates the ticket machine by touching the screen. Now, the word used to complete this sentence is touching here. Touching. You can see that ing is added to the verb touch. So, you have to use the correct form of the verb to complete the sentences. Now, pause the video and give it a try. Let's check our answers. Number two, you switch on the phone by picking up the handset and pressing the green button. Number three, the user starts the output motor by pulling the handle of the cord. And number four, the rider starts the engine by switching on the battery and kicking the lever downwards. And the final one is the burglar activates the alarm by breaking the leather beam. Good. What do you notice about the verbs? Touching, picking up, pressing, pulling, switching on, kicking, and breaking. Great. You notice that ing is added to each one of them to complete the sentences. Now, which word comes before the verbs? By touching, by pulling, by breaking. You will notice that the word by comes before each verb. Therefore, when you want to explain how you do something like to start the output motor and you want to explain the method, say by pulling the cord or the burglar activated the alarm by breaking a laser beam. So you use by followed by verb with ing. Now let's go to exercise four on the same page. Work in pairs. Match the devices with the method. 
Well, it says walk in pairs, but since we cannot walk in pairs, we'll do it together. We have the devices here and the method of starting and activating the devices here. So we have accelerator on motorbike, voice operated computer, solar battery, emergency stop in train, shop door alarm, car engine. And we have the methods here. A, put it under an electric lamp. B, step on a sensor in the door mart. C, rotate the handle. D, insert the key and turn it. And E, pull the lever. And the last one is speak to it. So number one is C, rotate the handle. Number two, F, speak to it, voice operated. We talked about this uh, a while ago. Number three, solar battery is A, put it under an electric lamp. Number four, emergency stop in train, pull the lever. Shop door alarm, step on a sensor in the doormat. And the last one, car engine, is insert the key and turn it. Now, the interesting part. Write sentences explaining how to activate or start the devices in for these devices. Now we know the devices and we know the method. Now we have to write sentences explaining how to activate or start the devices. We'll do number one together and then you do the rest. Accelerator on motorbike and the method is rotate the handle. So here we have the verb rotate, that is the method. Do you remember what we do to the verbs? Great, we add ing. So let's start. You activate the accelerator on a motorbike. For this part, the subject and verb must agree. This is a present simple. So, for singular subjects, with the exception of I, of course, you add S to the verb. But for plural, including I, you don't add S to the verb. So we have you here and we have activate. If we had he, we'll write he activates. So now let's complete the sentence. You activate the accelerator on a motorbike by rotating the handle. So we have the verb rotate the handle here. So we add ing and then we write the word by before the verb. So you activate the accelerator on a motorbike by rotating the handle. Now pause the video and complete the task. Now let's check our answers. Number two, we have voice operated computer and speak to it. The verb is speak. So we have the user activate. So this is singular. So we have, we add S to the verb activate. So we have the user activates the voice operated computer by speaking to it. Number three, you activate the solar battery by have put here putting it under an electric lamp and then number four emergency stop in train so the passenger activates the emergency stop in train here he pull by pulling the lever and number five is shop door alarm and the verb is step so we're going to use by stepping. So we have you activate 
the door, the shop door alarm by stepping on a sensor in the doormat. And the last one, car engine. And the method is insert. So we have by inserting. Great. So we have the driver starts the car engine by inserting the key and turning it. This one here is still part of the method. So we have to add ing to the verb. Great. Now let's wrap up what we've learned in this lesson. We've learned that when you want to explain how you do something, you use by followed by verb with ing. For example, you activate the emergency stop in a train by pulling the lever. Or you can have you start the car engine by inserting the key and turning it. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.